Hi, I want to take you through this crossing over activity uh, through screencast. So if you follow along, you'll uh, you'll be successful. Uh, first of all, the materials you need for this would be include scissors, tape or glue, and the handouts. They would include those pick chromosomes, which is a half sheet, the blue chromosomes, which is a half sheet, and a white crossing over worksheet that you're going to put these on. They look like this. If you have these and scissors and tape, we're ready to go. If not, you better pause and start again when you get those materials. The first thing you want to do is cut out the maternal and the paternal chromosomes. The maternal chromosomes moms are going to be represented by the pink chromosomes, so cut those out so they look like this, and the paternal chromosomes are going to be the blue ones, and if you cut those off you'll be all ready to move on to the next section. Feel free to pause until you're ready to move on. First thing we want to do is tape down the maternal chromosome pink one in that upper left hand box under maternal chromosome and the same thing for the paternal chromosome, the blue one in that upper left hand box too. Following that, we're going to add those replicated or duplicated maternal and paternal chromosomes. So take one of those uh, and tape down under the maternal in the same order on the left and the paternal on the right so that you have um, represented DNA replication because this happens prior to meiosis, and once the cell enters meiosis, then these duplicated chromosomes are manipulated and changed, and we are going to show crossing over in this activity. Now, crossing over is the actual exchange of equal segments of the chromosomes, which include genes, or called alleles if they are different forms of the gene, um, between tetrads within the chromosome. And so you'll see on the top one that I cut off the top A and B from the blue chromosome, and I switched it with the pink A and B from the left side of the maternal uh, sister chromatids as well. In addition, I removed that E, that F and G, excuse me, from the blue and the pink and inserted those, leaving the J's where they belong. And so I've made actually two different areas of crossing over that occurred between these chromosomes. When you do this, don't do it exactly like mine, do it randomly and exchange one or two, at most three genes, alleles, uh, groups of them between chromosomes and do that at least once, twice, or even three times, and then tape those down in your final box on your worksheet. And that final box will look something like this. I've just set mine on here, and I'm sure you can do a little neater job when you put yours on there. When you finish that, go ahead and answer the following questions on the bottom. Write an explanation of what happens in crossing over, and also explain the significance of crossing over for the living organisms.